My name is Sergeant Shamar Thomas. I was born in Roosevelt, Long Island, raised in Brooklyn, New York. I'm an Army brat, so um, I lived all around the country. I lived in five different states, one other country. I had to learn how to be by myself and take care of myself. And, and you know, that's, that's kind of my childhood, just, you know, just learning the ropes and, you know, just exploring life and all these, you know, different places. I was in Iraq in uh, 2004, where I was in the, uh, the Battle of Fallujah. And I literally spent 14 days on the hill with no shower, no, you know, we missed meals, of course, and, you know, uh, no tents, you know, I couldn't even put my head in my sleeping bag because it stunk so bad. And it's like, you know, I didn't have all the amenities that they even have on Survivor. I can't, I couldn't go chop down a coconut or, you know, go get in the water or anything like that. And so I just feel like, you know, I've done, you know, Survivor. My military background, you know, it prepared me for everything. and not just sizing up, but there's so many different people in the Marine Corps, so you just meet certain people. And, you know, being a leader in the Marines, you got, you know, uh, people from around the world that you're in charge of, you know, that you, you know, are, are in charge of maintaining on a daily basis. So I've, I've kind of dealt with, you know, the Southerner, the city slicker, you know, everybody. I haven't really developed a strategy other than destroying everybody up to this point, just because, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen, you know, what, you know, what dynamics the game will have on me. You know, I'm kind of a little little bit, you know, ahead of the game, I think, as far as, you know, dealing with the elements. I want, like, by the second week for everybody just to want to go home. I want them to be tired, wet, cold, and, you know, that's that was my whole four years in Marine Corps, which is miserable, so I'm, you know, I'm prepared for that. That's all I want to do. I want to take people's socks and, you know, eat their food, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just make it a horrible experience for them. I don't want them to say, you know, I got, I came to Survivor and had a great experience. Like, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I want.